Hey everyone, sorry I'm panting, I was running, but I wanted to stop and, vid and record because I got a message to share. I was thinking about um, the secret, and um, what is it called? Uh, What's that theory called? Oh, now it's escaping me, of course. Um, you know, when you think about what you want specifically, you attract what you want, um, the law of attraction. So I was thinking about the law of attraction and thinking, what is it about it that like bothers me? It captured so many people's attention. And as I was running, it came to me. When you, the, the law of attraction, vis-a-vis -vis the secret, says, whoever it was who did the secret, I can't remember her name, um, says, you have to be very specific with what you want. You've got to tell the universe exactly what you want. And then you'll have it. And then, like, in the movie, you saw, like, you know, a person imagining they were in this amazing car, you know, whatever it was. And as I was running, it became clear to me that the universe is within our own heart. Jesus is within our own heart. We don't need to say a word. We don't need to think a word. Jesus knows better than we know what it is we want. You know, people... It just seems to me people who uh, use these things are constantly using them. Are constantly trying to figure out the next thing. You know, it doesn't just to me doesn't seem to work. Uh, but let me know in the comments if it does work for you. If you have used the law of attraction and if it helps you in some way. Um, but so, what do you do? Uh, that's that's a good question. Um, you. And I say this all the time, but it's true. Use your intuition. Your intuition is what's guiding you toward the life that's going to, like, help you shine the brightest. The life that's going to, you know, it's going to put you where you want to be. It's going to, you have a whole journey ahead of you that was mapped out by your soul before you incarnated. And that is the journey your soul chose. And that is what's going to make you truly shine and truly joyful and so use your intuition your intuition is the most powerful tool you have for getting what you want what you want basically is happiness you want to feel happy and excited and joyful every day that is our most basic want how it looks you know the material things that define that you know obviously are different for everybody um, your intuition will get you where you need to go where your soul wants to go, where your soul wants you to go. Uh, your intuition also keeps you safe. Um, we, are, we are completely safe in this world. We are entirely 100% safe. Um, if something untoward is about to happen or can happen, your intuition will guide you away from it, will steer you away from it. And that comes in the form of feelings. You will feel, I don't want to go to this place. I don't want to do this thing. I don't want to take that job. I don't want to talk to this person on the phone anymore. I don't want to, I'm going to block the person. I'm not going to let him text me anymore. You know, whatever it is, you know, oh, someone called me something. He's going to come over. I'm going to call the police. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't want him to come over. These are, the, if you have those feelings, act on those because they will keep you safe. Um, and on the other side of the coin, they will also bring you onto, onto, they will help you um, walk your path in a way that's most joyful, you know? So, and again, it's just feelings. Your intuition is, is basically just feelings or something pops into your head like, oh, I should do this or I should do that. Or, um, you know, it's an interesting thing. The other day I went to uh, a market nearby later in the afternoon, which I never go there in the afternoon. I can't remember what it was, but something was bugging me. It was like, just, just go, just go. Like in my mind, I was like, all right, I'll just go. And I went and I saw a friend and we had a conversation. And um, she told me that she wanted to, she's a renter, she rents and she wanted to buy a house. And I said, I, I know someone who's selling a house exactly where you go to church every day and where, where you would, you know, close to where you live now. And 
he's not putting it on the market. He wants to sell it to someone like you. And it's two cottages and that's what she was looking for. So we were both like, oh my word. You know, that was intuition, that was guidance, given to me and given to her. Her guides put her where she needed to be. My guides put me where I needed to be to give her that information, to help her soul move forward on her path in a way that she can shine best. That's how it works. All right, so what do you think? Leave a comment. It's so important to leave comments because if no one responds, I feel like, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? Like, should I 